slavery. Even more remarkable, though, were the extra or bonus achievements which grew from this development. Designed strictly as a weapon system, Atlas departed from this role early in this development. For example, this is a picture of the Earth from a height of 700 miles, taken by a camera thrust into space by Atlas. One of the more spectacular achievements in this chain reaction of technological progress occurred in December 1958, a year and a day after the first successful Atlas launch. It was known as Project SCORE. satellite was a complete tank section of a modified atlas, fitted with a recorder and radio transmitter weighing 122 pounds. This was the heaviest American satellite launched up to 1958. With this event, the Atlas ICBM moved into the realm of space exploration, a purpose not originally contemplated when the project began. Working with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the Air Force developed the diversity of Atlas. Atlas became the carry-all of the space age. Projecting an infinite volume of questions into the universe. Releasing man from the pull of 6,500 billion, billion tons of Earth. Knowledge begets knowledge. The more I see, the more impressed I am, not with how much we know, but with how tremendous the areas are that are as yet unexplored. I feel we're on the brink of an area of expansion of knowledge about ourselves and our surroundings that is beyond description or comprehension at this time. Progress never stops. We're now on the verge of a new era, I feel. The Air Force Atlas met the demands of a growing space age while being rushed as a weapon. It met surpass the demands of its makers for payload, range, and performance. It opened new avenues of knowledge, thrusting man himself through the thin shell of his atmosphere, beyond the environment he had known up to that time. Now, Atlas is the chariot of the space age. The standardized version adjusts readily to a variety of missions. It is a composite of proven systems ranging from MX-774 to the present. Its proficiency is measured in terms of the payload it can thrust into orbit and a predictable cost per pound. It is scheduled for more than a hundred special missions over the next ten years. It is the assigned booster for a number of Air Force satellites, the eccentric Orbital Geophysical Observatory, the Gemini Rendezvous Satellite, the Orbiting Astronomical Observatory, Mariner, Ranger, and Surveyor. And the list will grow, for there is no end in sight to the youthful reign of the old queen. In 1948, there were perhaps half a dozen influential, die-hard advocates 
in favor of developing long-range missiles. Not even these men could have anticipated the breakthrough that has led us beyond the envelope. They planned in silence, thinking beyond tomorrow. There are such men.